In this video, we will have a quick review on DHT sensor series by setting the Blink dashboard and finally, after uploading the code, we will have a look on working demo. These are the three sensors commonly available in the market for measuring humidity and temperature. If we compare these three sensors, we can conclude that DHT22 is more accurate and perfect for the use, but in this project, I am going to use DHT11. If you are using the ESP module first time, you can watch my other video for interfacing the ESP modules and you can also download the uh, link in the description for the projects used in this video. If you are using the Blink app first time, you need to install it first from the Play Store. After installing the app, uh, you have to provide the valid email address and create a new project assign any name to the project i am naming it as weather monitoring now you have to select the board you can uh, choose esp8266 or esp32 this will send you the authentication code to your email address you can copy it and we will use it later these settings are valid for esp32 and esp8266 first of all we will take two gauges and rename it rename them as humidity and temperature or rename it as humidity and uh, assign it as a virtual pin v9 and change the range from 0 to 100 the other gauge also rename it as uh, rename it as temperature and now we will take a button the button procedure is different for esp32 and esp8266 first of all for esp32 you need to rename it as email and uh, we will choose a digital pin and digital pin gpio 23 and you know that you have to change a 1 and 0 indication because you are using the pull up register on in your code now for esp8266 we are using uh, the digital pin gpio 16 on board it is d0 you have to change the uh, off and on setting as well now we are uh, taking the email and uh, notification widget for email and notification widget first of all in email you have to write the valid email address where you want to get your notification email in notification bar you have to turn on the notification and set it accordingly You need to follow these circuit diagrams for ESP32 and ESP8266 and in coding basically we have de uh, declared LED at pin number 2 button on pin number 23 and declared two variables for humidity and temperature and uh, I have copied the authentication code from the project we have three sensors DSG 11, 22 and 21 basically i am using dst11 so i have uncommented dst11 this is basically the sync code you have to write it always because it will detect the values from the current values from your blink app I have converted the floating value into string and then by combining these two strings I have sent this data to, to the email. Now if you press a button you will receive a push notification and an email on your valid email address. You can use a virtual button as well. So this is the working video. If you like the video you can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.